Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to set the default account in Microsoft Outlook. It is not uncommon to have multiple email accounts. For example, you could have a personal and a work account, but it is common to get frustrated when you're sending emails by accident from the wrong account. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few simple steps to make sure you set the right default account. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you wanna supercharge the way you your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see here that we're in my Microsoft Outlook and I have two accounts. I have a work and a personal account. By default, the first account that I put on this computer was my work account, but I use this mainly for personal things and I wanna send more personal emails than I do work emails. But whenever I go new email, watch what happens. The default account here, although I've blocked it out, is my work account. And if I wanna make sure I send it from my personal account, I've gotta drop down this little from button and select the right account and go personal, the Aldo James Tech Tips account. It can be frustrating at times when you sometimes send an email from the wrong account. And you don't always remember to drop down the from and select the right account. Plus it's an extra step you don't really wanna to have to do. So what we're gonna do is change it from my work account to be my personal account as the default account. This is gonna take two steps, so make sure you follow along, and of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. The first thing you wanna do is go file on the top left-hand corner of Microsoft Outlook, and scroll to where it says Account Settings. Here, you're gonna select on the Account Settings option, and then we're gonna Account Settings one more time. This is gonna open up a dialog box where we can see in front of us the two email accounts that are loaded on this computer. We have my work account, which is the default, and then my Aldo James Tech Tips, which is the secondary. The first thing we're gonna do is go my Aldo James Tech Tips at Outlook.com. We're gonna set that as the default account and hit close. So now I've actually changed the default account from being my work to my personal account. Just because we've changed the default though, does not mean that we're automatically gonna start sending emails from that default account. Outlook is still gonna use the first account that it was opened up with. So we need to do one more step. We wanna go file in the top left-hand corner again, scroll down to the second last option uh, down the bottom, which is our options button. It's just down here to show you where it is. And then another dialog box is gonna open up. From here on the left-hand side, we can see general and mail and calendar. You wanna select on mail, and then using the scroll bar, scroll all the way down to where it says send messages. You can see here it says send messages, and then you can change the default level of importance, the default sensitivity. Then you have a few tick boxes as well. The first one is mark messages as expired, but the second one is one we're after. The one that says always use this default account when composing new messages. So once we select on the second tick box, always use the default account when composing new messages, what we've done is essentially we've set the default to be our Aldo James Tech Tips account, and now we're telling Mail that whenever we start a new email, we wanna use that default account. So when I go okay, and I go new email, it opens up with my Aldo James Tech Tips at Outlook.com as the default account. Because that's the account I use most commonly, it makes sense for me to make it the default email account. Of course, if I wanted to choose a different account from time to time to send an email from, I simply select on that drop down from menu and choose the account that I'm after. But for most of my emails, I can just go new email, start typing away, and I know it's gonna be from the right account. So there you have it, it is that easy to change the default email account in Microsoft Outlook. I hope you guys found this very useful. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up and of course, if you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.